guys and welcome to my channel i am back here with yet another video of unboxing this gigabyte nvidia graphics card this is 1660 ti version as you know guys i have been doing a lot of unboxing these days on my channel so as to create an ultimate image processing rig that has enough power to reduce your image processing time if you have not seen those videos guys i will put the link of those videos above or in the description below for you guys to check it out so ensure that guys you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that i have to share before we move further guys if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos let's get started so guys before we start with the unboxing let us see what is there on the top of the box and what information and specification that we have so as you can see on the top of the box guys this is made by gigabyte this is an overclock version of this 1660 ti it comes with gddr6 and windforce technology which is patented by gigabyte for cooling this graphics card it also comes with tuning shaders gddr6 memory like i told it is supported by directx 12 and anscl this is an nvidia graphics card so let us see on the sides what it has to say so it just has the branding on the side one of these side on the other side as well it just has the branding and the shipping label so on the other side of the graphics card it also has just the branding let us see on the bottom of the graphics card so on the bottom of the graphics card it says it is powered by nvidia getforce gtx 1660 ti gpu full microsoft directx 12 supported and opengl 4.6 supported it is equipped with gigabyte windforce cooling system so uh, that is what it says on the side now let us see at the back what it has to say on the top it says it is made by gigabyte it is powered by windforce cooling system it is a getforce gt experience by an nvidia it is 1660 ti version so here it says that it has an heat pipe directly in touch with your gpu which keeps your system cool your windforce 2x cooling system features two 90 mm unique blade fans alternate spinning fans so it has a different direction of spinning for each fan composite copper heat pipe directly touch with your gpu and a 3d active fan together with delivering an effective heat dissipation so gives an efficient cooling to your 1660 ti graphics card here it says it has a back plate to protect your graphics card it also supports the structure of the graphics card so that whenever it is heated your pcb does not bend and it does not also provides extra load on to your motherboard so this also does the role of your heat sinks and also gives an extra protection that is what it says here so here as you can see it also says that it has a display port and hdmi port another display port and another display port so it comes with three display ports and one hdmi port so minimum system requirement to run this graphics card is pci express 3.0 slot with x16 slot so it is a full pci slot that it requires it supports generation 3 pci express slot that you have minimum power requirement for your power supply should be 450 watt or greater so it's not going to use full 450 watt as of now but it is always good to have an extra power so as to protect this system for an extra power that it requires at times 1.5 gb of hard disk is required to install the software and the drivers 8 gb of minimum ram memory is required however 16 gb is recommended microsoft windows version 10 64 bit is supported and windows 7 64 bit is supported linux 64 bit is supported and 1 8 pin power supplementary power supply connector is required to power this graphics card and it also gives at the bottom get for its experience software so it highlights that it is automatically able to record your gaming sessions it also nvidia asnel supports the screenshots which it converts into 3d hdr and super resolution photos and game ready drivers so as to give you the highest level of gaming performance and smooth experience so this is it guys this is what is there on the top of the box so let's open the box and see what's there inside So when you first open the box as you can see in the front you will see the graphics card itself so this is nicely packed outside with the foam so as to protect this from shock during the transport and also this is covered with an anti-static packing so as to protect the graphics card from the static charges during the transport so let us remove the graphics card and keep this aside 
Now let us see what else is there inside the box. Let us remove the foam. So at the bottom of the box, you will see some of the documentation and the CD for the drivers. Let's keep that aside as well. So for now, there is nothing inside the box. So let's keep the box aside. So these are the two things that comes inside the box. As you can see, uh, Gigabyte also provides the Arcus Gigabyte software for this graphics card. So as the drivers is already there on the CD that it comes with. So you can also download the latest version of the driver from the internet as you require. And it also comes with the graphics card quick starter guide and it will have all the information on how to set up this graphics card onto your PC. So guys, I'll be doing another video on how to set up this graphics card onto your PC, how to connect and how to power this graphics card correctly. So ensure that guys, you stay tuned to my channel so that you do not miss out on any new videos that I have to share with you guys. So for now, I will keep this quick starter guide and CDs aside and let us see the main equipment itself. So as you can see guys, this is the graphics card which is there inside this box. This is NVIDIA 1660 Ti graphics card which is packed nicely inside this anti-static packing. So now let us open the seal and let's remove the graphics cards from inside. So this is how your graphics card looks like. So this comes with the twin fan cooling system. As you know, guys, this is an overclock edition. So it comes with an extra cooling feature so as to keep your GPU cool even when you overclock your GPU. As you can see, guys, at the bottom, there is a PCIe Express slot. This is generation three. So it will be supported by your motherboard that has PCIe Express three slot. At the top of the graphics card, as you can see, this comes with an 8-pin power connector. So this is how you power your graphics card. On the side, as you can see, it comes with the four video output, out of which three are the display port and one is HDMI port. It is nicely protected with this rubber padding that it comes with. And on the side, there is a steel plating that it comes with so as to be able to attach this graphics card onto your cabinet to support the weight of this graphics card so that you do not damage the PCIe slot on your motherboard. Let's see on the back. So on the back, you can see it's uh, covered with some thin plated metal or plastic so as to support your graphics card to give a good structure to your graphics card so that whenever it is heated, your PCB does not bend and it also supports the weight of the graphics card. At the same time, guys, this back is also dueling the role of the heat sink so as to dissipate the maximum amount of heat which is generated by your graphics card. So this is how your physical specifications look like. Now let us go through some of the technical specifications. So as you know guys, this is the 1660 Ti graphics card. This is an overclock edition which is made by Gigabyte. So as per the memory specification goes, it has a memory size of 6 GB, which is GDR6 type, and it is supported by PCI Express 3.0 slot, and it has a memory bus of 192-bit. Uh, as per the processor specification goes, it has 1536 CUDA cores with a base clock frequency of 1800 MHz. As per the further specs goes, it has a four video output, out of which three are DisplayPort and one HDMI port, which is HDMI version 2.0 and DisplayPort version 1.0. It has a maximum resolution which is supported by is 7680 by 4320. So minimum power requirement by this graphics card is around 100 and 150 watts. But it is important that you have a power supply which is connected to your GPU is around 450 watt and above. It also supports DirectX 12 and OpenGL version 4.6. So this is the technical specifications that you have for this 1660 Ti overclock edition graphics card. If you are new to astrophotography, you know how long that it takes for your image processing session to process all the images that you have collected during your astrophotography session. So guys, if you are planning to upgrade your system, I highly recommend using this 1660 Ti graphics card. This is, as of today, this is an older generation graphics card, but it has enough power to support your astrophotography photography needs. So I highly recommend you guys buying this graphics card and upgrading your system to reduce your image processing time. So guys, this concludes the unboxing of this Gigabyte 1660 Ti Overclock Edition graphics card. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, please do not forget to hit that like button. If you have any questions or comment, please leave them in the comment section below. I will try and answer as soon as possible. If you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching and clear skies.